Bills Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, Mid Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass. A little earlier this week here on Fox 47, it's time to meet Team 319. Graham Couch, sports columnist for the Lansing State Journal, and he is co-host of Couch and the Rube, weekdays from 1 to 3 at Spotlight Radio Network. And you covered some high school football this week, right? Went back to my roots, Lansing Catholic, Olivet football game, and uh, that's what I love. I mean, I love being on the sidelines, high yeah. school football. That's, you know, I did that for a lot of years. And just want to say, I was also hoping Rico would be next to me. <laughs> just jawline reasons, you know, yeah. like it, it makes the third chin not quite as obvious. Oh, you lose on that trade. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting to see what Lansing Catholic does next week in the rematch with they, Portland. They've got some talent. Yeah, yeah. they absolutely do. Yeah. Absolutely. Also want to welcome Darian Harris, five-year MSU linebacker, co-captain, of the 2015 Big Ten Champions, Big B Coffee brand ambassador, regular Thursday contributor to the Drive with Jack, and assistant coach for the Walled Lake Western Warriors. Are you less than four weekends away from a trip to Ford Field? Yeah, you know, counting it down, but as you know, you got to take everything one weekend at a time. So able to get a big win on Friday over Flushing. Got Fenton coming up this week. And uh, he's got to take it one game at a time. Got to prepare, as always, be ready to go. Make sure you've you got your adjustments and everything ready to roll. Make sure your kids are ready to play. And uh, should be good to go. But it's good to have home playoff games. That's key, too. The three years I was coaching at Lapeer West, we never beat Fenton. So, OM1, go ahead and take care. Was that before or after the forward pass, Jack? Uh, that was probably <laughs> before, a little okay. bit before. Flying wedge days. <laughs> also want to welcome Doug Warren. He is our Detroit Lions historian. He is a sports director Somebody's for the Spotlight <laughs> Radio <laughs> Network. Yeah. Yep. And uh, he has been producer from day one of The Drive. That is weekdays, live from 3 to 6, Spotlight Radio Network, and on demand, drivewithjack.com. You seen this Lions script before? Oh, yeah, lots of times. Uh, I saw it coming uh, last week. I said that they would yeah. lose this game, and they did. And look, I've, I've seen enough of this coaching staff. I, I said it in week one when they tied Arizona. They, they're going to be fired eventually. How many times have you said that line in your life? I've seen enough of this coaching <laughs> no, staff. No, I've seen it. I said it with Fonts. I said it with uh, Ross. I said it with, well, geez, we could go down the list. We'd have two segments on that. But I yeah, miss, I miss I've Fonts, seen enough. So. I thought they no, got Fonts a big good break when. The Raiders called timeout. I know. Said, yeah. Why? And then the Lions line, the line up with a, a football chance. in the phone booth formation, and they can't yeah. run the ball. So I, I didn't get the, the play call coming out of the timeout. Horrible design. It's not like you don't have uh, Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay and some other guys. Yeah, but. and then you throw to a tight end uh, a one-on-one -on -one matchup. But. We'll be right back. Our first going green segment brought to you by Graf Chevrolet. Talking Michigan State basketball up next. Hello, my name is Doug Daigle, owner of American Flooring and Holt, home of the $27 whole house carpet installation. Get your home ready to entertain for the holidays with thousands of styles of carpet to choose from, like these waterproof and stain resistant options. Looking for something tough? Waterproof luxury vinyl plank is the most resilient option for your home. We offer classic designs of hardwood from Brazilian walnut to stylish oak. Let our professional installers turn your dreams into reality. American Flooring and Holt, local and veteran owned. Get your $27 whole house carpet installation now. It's hard to admit that taking care of my mother is just becoming more than I can handle on my own. All my life, she's taken care of me. Now it's my turn to take care of her. I have to find my mom the best care. By Dom's Early Light Home Care is setting new standards and providing home care that's compassionate, knowledgeable, and affordable. Available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call us and set up a free care consultation today. Looking for great sleep at a great price? Denver Mattress has you covered. During the Veterans Day sale, save up to $600 on select Denver Pedic adjustable mattress sets and receive a free $300 furniture oak gift certificate. Or check out a Doctor's Choice plush or firm rated America's number one mattress for only $599.99. And to salute our armed forces, all veterans and active duty military get extra savings and free local delivery. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Get in the saving zone at Capital Honda because you should be driving a Honda from Capital Honda. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. 
peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for a Going Green segment brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River and Okemos. Go green, go Graf. That first group, four of the five, played real well. Aaron struggled and uh, struggled into the second half. Uh, thank God Gabe picked this up a lot, did some good things, and I thought two of my three uh, stars were really good. You know, Xavier was good. And, Cassis, I told him at halftime, are you boycotting here? And only taking two shots. So uh, second half, he did a little better job, uh, but really played within himself, you know, to get 16 points, nine assists, zero rebounds. And as I told him down there, um, I'm going to have to come up for the first time in my career and say four steals, he's probably turning into a first team defensive player now. So, uh, uh, the four steals, but all kidding aside, I think he added strength in his legs, and I just felt like he was moving very efficiently. So there were a lot of good things there. Michigan State coach Tom Izzo, beginning year 25 as head coach after an 85-50 to 50 exhibition win over Albion last week. Uh, Graham Couch, your game-by-game -game projections for Michigan State, I believe, have the Spartans 31 and 8. I believe so, yeah. yeah. And uh, that is a loss in the Big Ten tournament, ending with a loss in the national championship game. If that's what happens, is this a disappointing season for the Spartans? I think for some people, yeah. I mean, this is a team, Every I'd say about every other year, they've had a legitimate shot at a national championship. And last year was sort of a surprise year and a bonus year. And that's why The first people, time they've ever been number one. Right. And that's why but that's why people loved last year's team even when it came up short. Yeah. Like, nobody saw that coming the way it unfolded. It was, a, it was a team that was easy to love, too. This is more in line with the years like 2013, 14, 15, 16. There's certain years where the, the, hope, the hopes were really high and the idea of a second national title. So I, I think anything short will be disappointing. I just think it's also a team... You know, a couple months ago, you thought, well, maybe this is a team that truly yeah. is the number one. And right now, it feels more like a team that's one of ten teams that legitimately has a shot. Yeah. And and uh, and there are a lot of questions, a lot of things. I mean, I think Aaron Henry, for example, who is sort of being anointed as one of the big three. Yeah. We don't know that for sure yet. And you need three guys rolling. We don't even know that basic thing about this team yet. There's a lot to prove for a lot of guys. Since the NCAA tournament expanded to 64 teams, 1984-85 uh, season. There have been 35 AP preseason polls, 35 preseason number ones. Anybody know how many times the number one has gone on and won the national title? Four? Six. 17.1%. So being number one does not mean you're going to be... Do you know who they are, Jim? Snipping the final... I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the last one was North Carolina okay. in 2009 oh, yeah. in Florida just yeah. before that. Uh, Darian, we've got the Champions Classic Tuesday. Madison Square Garden, what does it mean to have number one versus number two? There you see the Champions Classic results for Michigan State in the eight years. They've won three times and lost five in these games. Uh, Duke has a phenomenal resume in this, so that distorts a lot of things. But to have one versus two after three versus four, and uh, last year, the only one of these four that made it to the Final Four was Michigan State. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, just to be represented as really the blue blood program of, of the country going into this season, it's going to be fun to watch for Michigan State fans. You get an opportunity to play a Kentucky team that's going to roll out a different five starters for the, you know, that 100 state year that Calipari's yeah. been there. I mean, I have no idea who's going to be going out there for Kentucky. It's going to be a bunch of five stars. And then with Michigan State, you have the old veterans, Cash Winston, Xavier Tillman, Aaron Henry, and some new players as well with Rocket Wild. 
Watson and, you know, Thomas Kithy or Bingham stepping step into the lineup. So it's exciting. I mean, it, it really doesn't mean much for the rest of the season, um, win, lose, or draw. You just want to see Michigan State go out there and compete and measure up like they always do. And, hey, might be able to pull off a big victory to start the season off. Doug Warren, uh, Tom Izzo's teams have met Kentucky eight times. Spartans have won five, have lost three. Uh, what can we expect Tuesday night, and how important is it to win a game like this? It's not that important. Uh, do we know anything about Joey Hauser yet? Is that officially like a done deal? No. Or that, like Tuesday morning they're going to say, oh, you're, you're welcome to start playing? I would be playing. surprised if he's at this point eligible. We're but hearing Tuesday or Wednesday. But we we'll heard Friday before that. We heard, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, who, who knows? Yeah, yeah. Seemed like if it was a definite no, wouldn't they say that? I mean, they're obviously yeah. considering things. Yeah. They've had a revision to the appeal. <laughs> they're looking at all sorts of other things. They're trying to keep it from really being the slippery slope mm -hmm. where it just goes over the hill, which is probably where it's headed anyway. Sure. Um, it, well, you were going to ask me uh, what's going to happen in the game. Yeah. If, if he doesn't play, they could see him winning by two or three points. If he does play, I think this team is transformed. They could win this game by double digits. Oh, I don't see it. I think they're losing either way. Either way. Either way. I, I, first of all, I know I, I have never seen them really win at Madison Square Garden. I've only seen disaster, so it's hard for me to even picture. And I need a frame of reference. <laughs> Maybe but, it's you. I mean, it could be. It could be me. But I also uh, Kentucky's got some veterans too. This is a team that's got some sophomores that are back now. That means they weren't one and done, right? But the, there are some there are some sophomores. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A decent point guard. They've got a nice. It's a nice mix. I, I think it's going to be. It'll be interesting to see who's further along. But I, I I just have my my hunch. My gut is Kentucky wins this either way. Higgins and uh, Maxi will be. A tough assignment for Winston. Uh, no question about that, but we'll see. Maybe Gabe Brown steps up, right? Pretty good last year against an SEC team. We'll be right back. Team Spirit. Face paint. More Calvin. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. It's another fall Friday night and your kids should be playing, playing high school football. It's a fun game and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And build. Strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. It's a crime. 911, all new Monday on Fox. It's Furniture Row's Veterans Day sale, so get ready because everything is on sale. You'll find sofas, dining sets, bedrooms, and mattresses at some of our lowest prices ever. Plus, decorating your entire home just got even easier with our four years no interest financing. And to salute our armed forces, all veterans and active duty military get extra savings and free local delivery. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The Veterans Day Sale, on now at Furniture Row. It's football season. Wouldn't you rather be watching the game and tailgating? Honda has your solution. Use the Honda EU2200i generator to power everything at your tailgate. It's portable and quiet with 200 more watts of stable power. It also helps out at home during a power outage. And the Honda Mimo can mow your lawn for you so you can enjoy the season. The Honda Mimo is an autonomous robotic lawnmower and allows you to relax. So you need a Honda lawnmower and a generator. Where do you get it? You come into Midwest Power Equipment today. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for another Going Green segment. Brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Vancouver and Okemos. They'll take great care of you as they have on all seven of my leases and purchases. Well, you got to play better. You can't beat yourself. you got to execute. There's certain things, you know, when you play a good football team that you cannot do. I would say in this particular game, you can't do any of these things to beat anybody. 
Um, you know, in terms of, you know, you can't, you got to have a good punting game. You can't get kicks blocked. You got to receive, as Jack said over here, you got all those, those points. You got to not turn it over on a punt return. And then you've got to effectively be able to, to, to stay ahead of the chains a little bit um, in terms of getting, getting, getting situations where you can win on third down, not put yourself in negative situations too deep, too often. But uh, I think as much as anything, recollect yourself, stay positive with what we're doing. And, and as difficult as everybody wants to say out there, you, you know, you can't just, you can't abandon ship right now. You can't do that. You know, that does not work. That is the last time that we saw Mark D'Antonio. That was after the 28-7 loss to Penn State in Spartan Stadium. Darian Harris, the hits just keep on coming. As a former MSU linebacker and team leader, how do you explain what happened with Joe Bocce Jr.? That's a solid a player and uh, I think solid a person as they have in the program and now ruled ineligible for which seemed as a performance enhancing substance. Yeah, I mean, I think the only way you kind of explain it is you just hope it was a, a mistake. Um, you hope they didn't do it maliciously. And you hope that after this appeals process, which uh, if I were to guess, probably isn't going to go in favor of, of Michigan State and Joe Bocce here, that, you know, maybe we get a little transparency on what happened um, and then just move on. You know, I mean, I think I kind of liken it to what happened uh, last year with Julian Edelman. And you, you see the reaction to different people based on who they kind of are. You see with, with Julian Edelman, it was kind of mixed, but what I saw more so was, hey, this is Edelman, he's a hard worker, got it out the mud, you know, used to be a quarterback, moved to receiver, shouldn't even be in the NFL, this is a hard working guy, why would he ever, you know, cheat the system? Same thing with Joe Bocci, why would a guy like Joe ever cheat the system? Yeah. He put in so much work um, and so much dedication to this team, I just can't see him doing something maliciously and selfishly, uh, but we just gotta wait and see what all the facts are. What do you think, Graham? You were around when this happened just before the Rose Bowl. It was a big story. Middle of the night, press release. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a big deal. You know, Darian and I were talking beforehand. Just, I mean, it's it's not just. I mean, this guy's the soul of your defense. Yeah. You know, and that's uh, it, it's so it's it's not only all the things a middle linebacker does and a senior middle linebacker, but it, it's it's somebody who you know everything Michigan State is going through right now. You need a guy like Joe Bocci to help pull you out of yeah. that, and instead he just sort of adds to it. Doug Warren, uh, what does Joe Bocci Jr.'s disappearance mean to his MSU legacy, his pro football aspirations, and his team the rest of the season with four games to go? Well, I think uh, going in reverse, with his, it hurts the team tremendously defensively and, and overall with the leadership and stuff. I mean, he was one of the key cogs of this team. And like Graham said, if they're going to turn this thing around in the last month, he was somebody you needed to count on to be there. As far as the NFL goes, they will vet this in the uh, process with mm -hmm. the combine and everything else. I don't think this really matters to the people in the NFL. I think Bocce's uh, status is a, anywhere from a second to a fourth round pick, I think is still um, going to be you know, fine. The, the, the tape speaks for itself and everything he's done right. leading up to this point. Um, with his NF MSU legacy, I guess it just kind of depends on who you talk to. I think it, in, in regard to Max Bullitt, it's affected his legacy a bit. Um, looking back, but I, I think still he's one of the great linebackers, botches in, in school yeah. history, and I think most people will still look upon his career favorably. Graham, you know a little bit about <laughs> Vegas odds. Uh, what were the chances back on September 14th when Illinois lost to Eastern Michigan that uh, Fighting Illini would have a better record coming into this game than Michigan State, five and four versus four and four? You see what momentum and scheduling does. I don't think, you know, any team in the Big Ten, any of these bottom teams, even Minnesota, yeah. went through the three of the game gauntlet that Michigan State did, they'd be hurting a little bit from a confidence standpoint, too. So how is Michigan State an early 12-point favorite or more? It's a bad line, but it's also a sucker's bet. Stay away from it on all sides. I'm telling you right now, when it looks too good, it is. <laughs> <laughs> just stay the hell away from this one. Well, there'll be a lot of people who would just like Michigan State to score 12 points. Yeah, yeah. We'll be right back looking at the University of Michigan, our Out of the Blue segment, up next. Looking for great sleep at a great price? Denver Mattress has you covered. During the Veterans Day sale, save up to $600 on select Denver Pedic adjustable mattress sets and receive a free $300 furniture oak gift certificate. Or check out a Doctor's Choice Plush or Firm rated America's number one mattress for only $599.99. And to salute our armed forces, all veterans and active duty military get extra savings and free local delivery. 
Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Looking for a great new car and a hassle-free buying experience? Come out to RPM and let us show you how easy it can be. If your credit is not the best, that doesn't have to stop you from getting the car you want. You have bad credit, bankruptcy, or slow pay. You name it. With their in-house financing, we can get you approved when no one else can. Let one of five RPM stores get you rolling. RPM, auto sale. Download the Fox 47 News app. Available for iOS and Android. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with it, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. You know, we always try to start start the game off fast, and that was a big emphasis uh, coming in this game on the road. And so it was cool to see him take off and kind of set the tone for the game. Uh, we were just able to execute the block pressure. You know, we just did whatever Coach Brown drew up for us to do and, you know, just execute it at a high level. And we got home. Yeah, that was tremendous. Uh, you know, the uh, pressures came at the right time. The, the sacks came at the right time. We were able to uh, keep them out of the end zone. They missed a... Uh, Got down into field goal range and missed that, and then uh, Josh made the big play on the interception, and it was a uh, it was a great game for big plays. You know, that play was was big. Giles Jackson's kickoff return for a touchdown was was huge. The fourth and one punt fake where Michael Barrett uh, ran for 13 yards, well blocked. Nico Collins's long 51 uh, yard pass catch. Uh, True Wilson had a long run. Uh, Zach Sharp and made some. Some uh, really nice run, score touchdown. There you see Shea Patterson and Josh Uche and Jim Harbaugh after Michigan's convincing win over the Maryland Terrapins, College Park. Doug, you saw Michigan a week ago when they rushed for 303 yards and stomping Notre Dame, only had 331 yards of total offense in this game but they had all they needed. Yeah, they had all they needed, and, and it looks like the Wolverines have their swagger. And Harbaugh is coaching now like he did at Stanford, where they get a team down and he doesn't care. He just keeps uh, putting his foot on their throat. They were up 14 nothing. They go for a fake punt, convert that, go in for the third touchdown. They were well in control of the game, but that's just the kind of stuff that he used to do at Stanford that people are waiting to see him do here at Michigan. Now they're doing it. Harbaugh's got his swagger, and uh, this game was over on this play. Yeah, this I, is the yeah, opening kickoff, right. and and just uh, they're up fourteen nothing, and you go for a fake punt. I mean, that's that's just kind of pulling out all the stops, and that's the way they're playing right now, defensively, offensively. They're playing with a lot of confidence, and they're one of the teams that's getting better as things go on. Now, can they beat Ohio State? Eh, I don't know about that. Yeah. But leading up to that game, uh, they're playing very well. Graham, what's more likely? that Michigan falls to Michigan State after the bye or Indiana in Bloomington and then gets beaten by Ohio State for the eighth straight time or that they pull it together, run the table and get the win over the Buckeyes that Jim Harbaugh craves. I think the way they're playing the most likely is that they run the table of all those. I'm not saying they can't lose Indiana or whatever. That is the quintessential trap game. You're in saying Indiana they can't lose to well. Michigan State. 
Doesn't look like it right now. I mean, I just, it's hard to, hard to predict that, uh, the, the way things are going. What I really want to see it from Michigan, because what I want to see is the chaos that ensues if you have a two-loss team, Michigan playing that well, and what it does to the playoff. Because what we need is one year where there's doubt, yeah. where there's doubt that the best team isn't in the playoff, and I want that to be maybe this year with Michigan. That's my best Tom Crawford. I don't think you're going to get a two-loss team in the playoff for a long time. Right, that's what I'm saying. You want, you want yeah. people thinking maybe they're the best team and they're not in. Yeah. And that's, you know, that would, be a, that would create some, some thought and chaos, and that's what we need. Darian, the Wolverines are tied with Indiana, 7-2 and two overall, 4-2 and two in league play. If they win two of their last three, as most people expect they will, would another 9-3 and three finish be okay for a team that was picked to rule the conference? No, of course not. I mean, it just, it, it's no, absolutely not. You know, they preseason ranked in the top five, uh, essentially the quintessential favorites to win the conference this year. Really, really, if they keep going the way they are this year, you know, they'll have an opportunity to beat Ohio State at the end of the year, but it still might not put them in Indianapolis. You look on the other side of the conference, there might be another UM that gets the first shot <laughs> at, in, at Indianapolis, then this UM, and it'll be another team with the seventh team in the conference uh, yeah. that gets a shot at, right. at Indianapolis before Michigan. So absolutely not, nine and three, it just it doesn't get it done. We've had seven in and seven have it, so this would be eight, eight. that yep. would go in ahead of the local U of M. And uh, see if that's what happens. I don't know. Hey, we got Minnesota and Penn, Penn State. State. Yeah. Gophers are hosting the Nittany Lions. But if, but if they beat Ohio State and they went out to that point, yeah. there are going to be people who think they are one of the top couple yeah. teams in the country. Maybe they're the best team in the country, and that's what you need to get rid of the four-team playoff and get to eight. You need the doubt. And that's what I, I mean. They've got a chance to be the team that blows up the playoff, and that's my dream for Michigan football right now. Okay, but that's not the playoff I want. I want five conference champions in because I want the I want conference too. championships yeah. to matter. And Same when here. you already have two losses, that's what I even though Ohio saying. State's probably not going to get you. I agree. Considering you got two eight-no teams. You go eight, you bring the five conference champions in, three at large. It's, 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 it's really easy. So, Doug, uh, how does Jim Harbaugh explain this if they do go 9-3? and three? You say, hey, we had a big run at the end of the year. We were installing a new offense, new offensive coordinator. It took a little time to get everything together. Well, and it's a, valid, it's a valid explanation. And it is. It's kind of the way it's evolving yeah, yeah. right now. The offense is really doing pretty well right now. So 331 I mean, yards. Yeah. Didn't have many yards in some points, other though. games, too. Yeah, well, one of them was a kickoff return. And sure. The other thing about Michigan, I will say this. The big difference from the beginning of the year, no turnovers. Yeah. Right. Remember They've early in September, they have solved yeah, they, that problem. Yeah, and that, that's they were turning it over four times a game. As well. Nobody in East Lansing would be talking about yards in Michigan State was putting 38 points up, all right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, right, right. That's, that's just the way it the is. The turnovers are a real, real yeah. big thing. No Michigan question. State's offense put 34 up against Indiana, got 40 when you count the play at the end of the game. Let's see if Michigan gets more than 34 against Indiana. I'm not saying Michigan State's as good as Michigan, just say it. We'll be right back with more. We'll take a look at the national landscape coming up next here on Press Pass. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Team Spirit Face Paint More Cowbell Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways Your favorite ride. Nobody can beat us. All New Empire Tuesday on Fox. Can we recycle envelopes with plastic windows? Aye, laddie. 
How about this? Look, stay and buy food, forget it. If it's got food residue on it, don't recycle it. Learn the rules of recycling at RecyclingRaccoons.org. Fox 47 is your home of the Detroit Lions. Don't miss a minute of the hard-hitting action each week. Proud partners include Monster Motors. Got a truck that's stock? We'll make it rock. Total Firearms, Mid-Michigan's premier outdoor superstore. And Invisible Fence, protecting pets for 315 dog years. Regular season, postseason, and more. Fox 47 is your home for the Detroit Lions. Can we recycle envelopes with plastic windows? Aye, laddie. How about this? Look, stand by food, forget it. If it's got food residue on it, don't recycle it. Learn the rules of recycling at RecyclingRaccoons.org. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Trailways. With trips for every season, Dean takes care of the details so you can enjoy the experience, including daily casino runs and great getaways to northern Michigan and Chicago, where Doug Warren and I were last month for the NFL Legends Classic. That's Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Third and goal. Play. Lawrence Cager. Buddy bunched in tight at the two-yard line. Play fake to P-line the throw. Touchdown, Freddie Swain. There you see the Georgia Bulldogs with a big win over Florida. This was more than the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. This was a game with championship ramifications in the SEC East. Jake Fromm, he was very accurate yesterday again. Darian Harris, how good are the Georgia Bulldogs? Are they good enough that they could stun the winner of this LSU-Alabama game and rule the SEC? I think they're, they're pretty good, but I'm not sure if they're that good yet. I think they have an, an opportunity to, and they could be maybe one of those two-loss teams that could shake some things up. But, it, but you know, to, to Graham's point, I don't think that a two-loss team that shakes stuff up can come from the SEC. It's got to be another conference that makes that happen. So that aside... What I haven't seen from Georgia that I thought we were going to see really uh, a lot this season is a dominant running game. You know, DeAndre Swift, I would think, is the best or one of the best running backs in the country, and he hasn't really had that signature game that I've been looking for. Jake Fromm is a great quarterback. I think he'll play at the next level, but is he Joe Burrow? You know, I'm not sure. Is he Tua? Uh, definitely not. And then it raises questions. If they were able to hang on to Justin Fields, would he be the guy that was starting this year? Would he have been able to take them over to, to the next level based on how he's playing at Ohio State? So um, it definitely is every, – Every week in SEC from here on out is playoff implications. You may have two, three, maybe four teams that all are worthy of a spot. Probably only two get in, though. Doug Warren, uh, we saw Oregon last night in the Fox primetime game. Outscore USC in the Coliseum 56 to 14 in the last three quarters. Mm -hmm. People sleeping on once beaten Oregon as a possible playoff team, or do you have to run the table? be perfect as a Pac-12 team. Well, I, I think, I don't know if people are sleeping on Oregon anymore, the way that they're playing. They're starting to get people's attention again. The key for Oregon is obviously to run the table the rest of the way, because in all likelihood they'll play Utah um, in the Pac-12 championship game. But the key for uh, Oregon is what Auburn does. Auburn still has to play yeah. Georgia and Alabama, yeah. and they played LSU already and lost 23-20. So let's say Auburn pulls an upset, beats either Georgia or Alabama, screws things up in the SEC. Yeah. They went out, beat Utah convincingly in the Pac-12 title game. Then I could see people thinking about, hey, let's, let's have the Pac-12 get an opportunity here and sneak them into the playoff with one loss. Graham, when you think that uh, we are finally going to get the first college football playoff projections this week, and a lot of talk about teams that are automatic if they win out. You have to think Clemson is defending champion, has a great chance to get in. Ohio State would certainly be favored in every game it plays. The winner of LSU, Alabama, but they still have some work to do in the SEC. What would happen if... Let's say Ohio State does lose a game somewhere. We don't see it now, but let's say it happens. And you get LSU losing by a point uh, in Tuscaloosa. You, we always talk about the advantage for the sure. home team. Yeah. And then Georgia beats Alabama right. in the SEC championship game. I can hear the people south of the Mason-Dixon line saying, we got the three of the four best teams right here. 
I think it's beautiful because again, the Big Ten getting left out, right, is really the key. You need the Big Ten or SEC to create change. It's where the money is, it's yep. where the tradition is, it's where the angry fan bases are. So for, to create urgent change, you need anger out of those two places. So the more anger, like the Pac-12 gets in or out, it's just not, a, you know, who cares about the West Coast? But this, if, if people feel wronged in the Big Ten in the Midwest, or wronged in the SEC, you get momentum. Darian, which team, other than the four we mentioned, uh, two from the SEC, one from the Big Ten, and one from the ACC, is the most likely party crasher? I would say right now, Oregon, uh, but again, I agree. I'm not sure if they even really care about the Pac-12. My issue is I don't think Clemson, based on where they're, the way they're playing, deserves to be in. I don't think they're one of the four best teams right now. Not but any points for what they did last year? No, you don't get uh, to, No, no, not coming into this season. Not the way they have the playoff set up. You don't get uh, an automatic pass just because you're the national champion. So I, I don't see them right now as one of the four best teams. But if they win out, they're automatically going to be in. That takes up a spot. And now it's like, I agree. You know, you could have three teams from the SEC that are deserving to get in, plus one from the Pac-12. I think, regardless, we're right. going to see a lot of uh, anchor fans this year. And Clemson, the most likely team to be 13-0, given the schedule. We'll be right back talking to Lions up next. Every day, there are doors to open and steps to be taken. There are chapters waiting to be written. There are simple things that mean the world and things so complex, they can change a world. There are decisions to make that make all the difference, and we have a part in all of it, every day. At AT&T, we believe in access, the opportunity for everyone to explore a digital world full of possibilities, connecting with family, friends, and the things that matter most. And because nothing keeps us more connected than the internet, we've created access from AT&T. If a member of your household is a SNAP participant, you may qualify for home internet at a discounted rate of $10 a month. No commitment, deposit, or installation fee. Visit att.com slash access now to learn more. It's America's favorite guessing game, The Masked Singer, all new Wednesday on Fox. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Well, welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Law of the Jungle segment brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. I'm talking about chicken shawarma with baked breast meat and hummus made fresh in a three-day process. That's why I'm there every week. Stop and see Chuck Delita and their terrific staff on Trowbridge or find Woody's favorites at Tom's Foods, Orox, and all across MSU's campus. Detroit Lions. Close, but they lost 31-24 at Oakland today. Doug Warren, you predicted that. You said the Lions could not sustain this, couldn't get the wins they needed at Oakland and at Chicago to get a three-game winning streak. Mm -hmm. How did this happen? Well, they gave up 171 yards rushing. You can't do that, Yeah. period. Uh, seven of 13 on third downs for Oakland. That's not going to get the job done either. Look, th this coaching staff defensively is inept. 
The offense seems to be doing fine, except for an occasional uh, scratch your head call uh, formation wise or whatever from Daryl Bevel. But the, look at what's happened in New England since uh, this genius of a coach, uh, Matt Patricia, showed up in Detroit. That damn defense in New England is as good as it's ever been, arguably the best defense in 30 years in the NFL. Yeah. This defense can't stop the Raiders, can't stop anybody, can't stop a runny nose. I've seen enough of this guy. Get him out of here. Get rid of everybody. <laughs> I'm tired of this crap. I could be a better GM. If I was the GM of this team last year, they would have lost their last four games, and Nick Bosa would be rushing uh, from the edge in the Detroit Lions lineup because we'd had the second pick in the draft, and we would have had him instead of this doofus tight end they got. I like uh, the tight end, the doofus. Yeah, I like him yeah. too. Uh, yeah. Matt yeah. Patricia, yeah. he was such a great defensive coordinator. I think back to the last game he was with New England, the uh, Super yeah. Bowl against. No, that's not going. Talk to the people in New England. They were glad to see him go. Graham Couch, Matthew Stafford. What do you make of a quarterback that Rico Beard insists has never been a winner, even on the playground, and never will be? It's getting harder to argue with Rico because there are certain plays in the game. I don't think he's playing poorly. I still think he's a top 10 quarterback. 406 yards yeah, today. Yeah, I know. No, I got him on my fantasy team. Not complaining. But I, there are just certain throws he doesn't make that the truly greats make. And to win a championship and to be a great team with, with, with that sort of quarterback, you have to have a lot around you. And they haven't had that. I, I think you can win big with, with Matthew Stafford. But you, you can't overcome, like I think there are about four or five quarterbacks in the NFL that could take this Lions team right here, win a division, and put you in contention for a championship game or a Super Bowl. He's not one of them. That's just what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe you can win with a lot of teams with Matthew Stafford. Not sure that a lot of quarterbacks could win with this Lions defense when they're giving up as many rushing yards. Yeah, I mean, you can't making expect Josh Jacobs look like yeah, Stafford or anybody to come from behind every week. I mean, they score with two minutes to go. He has to come down and, and lead them back to another touchdown. The third down play before the final play, that was a, that was a Stafford play, a, just a tough luck play. Nobody touches him. Yeah. He turns and slips and falls. Nobody even touched the guy. Yeah. You're just like, geez, this guy can't catch a damn break. All I want to know is did he call the last play? Because if he did, then I'm he agreeing with you. If he didn't, then <laughs> that's I'm a, giving that's him a, Darryl a little bubble. break. That's yeah. a Daryl Bubble design. Uh, Darian, let's take a look at the games we have had <laughs> thus far this week. And uh, what surprised you about the first 12 NFL games? Obviously, we have Ravens, Patriots in progress. Yeah, I mean, the Chiefs being able to pull off a win without Pat Mahomes over the Vikings. I mean, we yeah. would have thought for the Vikings, uh, especially, you know, we're talking about his division here. That's one you kind of got to have. Uh, but Matt Moore steps up. I mean, he was coaching high school ball, you know, in August. And all of a sudden, he's, you know, tossing dimes to, to Tyree Hill. So it, that's just the magic that Andy Reid has. And, you know, coaching and playing alike, it's got to go together. Uh, but, but also the 49ers. I mean, I, I think they're for real. Yeah. I mean, they are for real this year. You can't deny that. You know, you talk about Nick Bosa and that front seven seven they have is, is tremendous in San Francisco. Uh, so we'll see what Kyle Shanahan is able to do for the rest of the year. Doug, what is wrong with the Cleveland Browns? For the season, we kept hearing this is it, right? They're, they're there. They got Baker Mayfield, OBJ. I, I never bought it. I mean, it's Freddie Kitchens, he'd never really been a head coach before. There were going to yeah. be some growing pains, and obviously we're seeing those. People in uh, Cleveland said they had to rename them Freddie Bathrooms. <laughs> I don't know. But they, they, they have a talent on that team, but they just don't have everything moving in the right direction, and it's a pretty tough division. Baltimore's resurgent. The Pittsburgh Steelers are still hanging around. Maybe next year is where Cleveland kind of gets their wheels. And, we'll see. And they got a jerk for a quarterback right now, and he needs they to do. figure out who he is on yeah, the field because he's not who he thinks he he's is. He's not a freelance quarterback. Right. And they got a pretty unsophisticated head coach. I think that's part of the issue. Mm -hmm. As we tape this, it's the second quarter of Patriots Ravens. How many of you think that Tom Brady and the Patriots are going to pull this out and route to an undefeated season, or certainly the best record in the NFL? And how many of you think this is the game they could lose? I, mean, I heard an interesting theory earlier that it'll be interesting to see what happens as the game plays out. I can see Belichick just going out there and giving the Ravens a completely different look than he has all season because he knows he's going to see Baltimore later oh, yeah. on this year, maybe in an AFC title game. And, and the magic of Belichick, he might not even care, honestly, about winning this football game. A quick look at the NFC North standings, and you will see that, Doug, every one of the teams lost today. Yeah. So there's one team with who's 0-2 in the division. And that's a team up. that, uh, you know, is probably going to end up in last place by the end of the season. We'll be right back. We'll talk about an electric World Series and the Washington Nationals Championship up next.
hut, hut, hike. Get in the saving zone at Capital Honda with game-winning offers on the new 2019 Honda Civic LX, $189 a month, or new 2019 Honda CRV EX all-wheel drive, $269 a month. You should be driving a Honda from Capital Honda. With MSU FCU's Visa Signature Card, receive 3% cash back on groceries, 2% cash back on gas, travel, and universities, and 1% cash back on everything else. Open your MSU FCU Visa Signature Card today. Career Quest Learning Centers in Jackson's Underworld present Fox 47's Haunted Halloween. <laughs> Get your complete Halloween resource with tons of photos and ideas for every walk of life. Look through the best pumpkin carving ideas. Send us your pics at fox47news.com. Take a tour of the best haunted houses. Browse through galleries of decorating ideas, fun costumes, and safety tips for your family. All at fox47news.com slash Halloween. <laughs> Thursday Night Football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, we have a taste for adventure because the only way to know how good something can be is to go for it. Try our veggie smoothies, island green, made with spinach, kale, pineapple, banana, and mango, and Caribbean sea burst with carrots, mango, banana, orange, and goji. Adventure begins with never knowing until you try, but always expecting something great. Go for a veggie smoothie at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Eat better, feel better. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton, South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded home loan center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. Great seven game series against the Dodgers, and we got another one here. There's a one. That is a rocket to left, and the lead is cut in half. Rendon makes it two to one. Opponent sitting 176 against him. That's down the right field line into the corner. This ball is gone for a home run. Nationals on top. Howie Kendrick. 3 2. Here it is. The Washington Nationals are world champions for the first time in franchise history. Tigers fans are going to love that. Max Scherzer and Anibal Sanchez. We won it. We won it. We finally won it. Should have happened a long time ago. Uh, Graham Couch, you've been known to put your money where your mouth is. What kind of odds could we have gotten at the end of May when Washington was 19-31? and 31, Same record as the Detroit Tigers. Really good odds. And you've seen that lately. You saw it in, in, in hockey this year. You've seen it in hockey in a couple years. You've seen a lot of these long odds things. And it makes you start to wonder, boy, at some point you just pick a team, throw 50 bucks, assume it's gone, and maybe that happens instead, and you win several grand. But, no, I mean, what, what happened with that team? They, first of all, they became a really likable, fun yeah. team, yeah. right? you got a young superstar like Soto, Rondon, yeah. Yeah. that whole storyline, an ace pitcher. They just became – and then the, the Astros, you get the whole deal – you know, with the with the with the um, deal with their assistant general manager, yeah. Yeah. yelling at female reporters. Yeah. 
they became unlikable and it just snowballed. It was a great storyline. It was a lot of fun. And, they, and their pitching worked out great for them yeah. because by not having Scherzer in five right. against Cole, that actually played out better. You, they matched up against, uh, I think, a, a, a better spot to try to win the game in game seven. Probably would not have won game five anyway. Correct. It would have yeah. burned their best pitcher. Yeah. When you think, Graham, that they looked like they were going down to Milwaukee in the wild card game when Hader came that. in. Yeah, yeah. Looked like they were beaten by the Dodgers in game five, and then they had those back-to-back -back home runs off of Kershaw and then the grand slam by Kendrick. And here it was 2 nothing in the top of the seventh, and they score six straight runs. Hard to imagine a team with more drama than this one. A resilient team with, with, with great hitting, situational hitting, and, and a, the Soto, a young superstar who just, I mean, has – all the makings and just all the gravitas. I mean, what he did carrying the bat, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. after Bregman did and that, I mean, and they became a team. It doesn't happen all the time. I found myself rooting for the Nationals in the entire yeah. postseason, and I couldn't really figure out exactly why, right. but they were the team that was likable that I wanted to win when I didn't have a horse in the race, more than the Astros or anybody else. Darian, as a Nats fan and a baseball follower, how important was it to have this kind of a story coming out of the nation's capital? Haven't had many good ones lately. No, haven't, but uh, it, it's kind of fitting, you know, a little bit of a narrative in the nation's capital. I mean, say for the football team and, and the basketball team there, on the men's side at least, there's been a couple few championships that have rolled through D.C. Yeah. You know, the Capitals a couple years ago, uh, Washington Mystics and our own yeah. Ariel Powers got one this year, and now the Nationals, and I think that's probably going to be about it for D.C. championships <laughs> in terms of teams, uh, unless D.C. United pulls something off. But it's just it's a great story the nation's capital and it, it really what I liked about it is allowed uh, the country to see what a great sports town DC is because we rally there well we don't know if Anthony Rendon and Steven Strasburg will be back in the baby shark tank next year but Doug Warren congratulations yeah. you watched a few innings of the World Series yep <laughs> you picked the right time to watch it we will be back with our weekly awards, our Cool and Smooth Culver Awards up next. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you a free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our Peace of Mind program, only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris at Dart Bank to help put together multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. At the David Chapman Agency, it's our knowledge and expertise that make insuring home, auto, and farm easy for you. Experience the benefit of a local agent who cares about you. With the David Chapman Agency and Auto Owners Insurance, visit davidchapmanagency.com. No paper towels? Luckily, Sparkle added sheets. They now have 200 more than Bounty per pack. I wish we had 200 more puppies. Okay. So many puppies. And 200 cats. Girl. Sparkle, now with 200 more sheets per pack. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Cool and Smooth segment, brought to you by the five Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. For the sixth year man from Virginia makes it nine to four, but look at that. This has come right back at him with a Bruce Brown jam. Bruce Brown with a gray screen, back to Gray for a dunk. Bruce Brown to the lane, floats it up, fills it up. Luke to the baseline. Shot won't fall. 
Rebound. Gray back to the rack. Lays it up. Lays it in. Back. Clock at 10. Screen from Gray. Bounce inside of the big man for a jam. The Pistons without Blake Griffin. Last night without Derrick Rose. Big win, comeback win over Brooklyn. And uh, I see Bruce Brown. Looks like he's developing into a player, Darian. And you see Andre Drummond now with 2020 games in history. You know who he just passed in career 2020 games? I couldn't believe it. Shaquille O'Neal. Really? I mean, people want to drive this guy to the airport, and there he is. He's looked better, but it's a contract year. But I would still take Shaq. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> <You would still laughs> take Shaq. probably a good idea. All right, Team 319, who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint explosion this week? Doug Warren, what about our Play of the Week? Play of the Week, Ivy League football, Dartmouth Harvard. A 43-yard scoring strike for a Dartmouth quarterback, Derek Kyler, to Mosaki Ayertz, uh, Dartmouth, by the way, 14th uh, in the FCS. They stay unbeaten at 7 and 0. They win 9 to 6, a barn burner in the Ivy League. That's my play of the week. Yeah, about that. Uh, what about game of the week, Graham Couch? It's got to be game seven of the World Series. Game six was pretty special, too. Yeah. Those two together, and, and a week that wasn't of classic pro football games yeah. or anything. Michigan State wasn't playing. I, I just, look. Game seven, anytime you get it in any sport. Yeah. And the, the tension of it, yeah. game six, the same way. It, it, it was incredible to watch. And two teams at that level. You realize how far the Tigers are away, by the way, uh, from, from anything like that. But, uh, but it, it, it was just fun. I haven't had that much fun watching baseball in a long, long time. Team of the week, Darian Harris. Uh, team of the week, uh, first honorable mention to Michigan State's women's cross country team winning the Big Ten championship okay. uh, today. That's obviously big time. Um, but you know, I have to do this. I mean, I got to go with the NBA as a whole. And Graham, I think, will agree with me on this. I'll keep it real short. If you don't get on the bandwagon now for this season, you're missing out. Best season that I've seen, I think, in my lifetime. It's because the Lakers are playing better. Well, That's it's not even saying, right? that, but it's not even that. I've never seen teams play this hard this early in the season uh, in terms of defense that everybody complains about uh, right. this early in the year. I think uh, like about 10, 15 teams feel like they have a chance. And it's, it's been unbelievable basketball. I have to give a quick shout out to the DeWitt Panthers. Uh, win over East Lansing proved they're still the best in our conference. That doesn't change. And how about Andy Schmidt's St. John's Red Wings? They lose 41 to 7 to Mason, a uh, perfect team during the regular season team that looked like they were really the story. And St. John's beats them in the playoffs 17 7. So, wow. Tremendous performance. 30 points lower in the playoff points. Uh, for our player of the week, I want to give a quick shout out to Brian Hoyer. Uh, came in, he hadn't been involved in a game since 2017, comes in, throws touchdown passes, should have led his team to a dramatic victory, but Adam Vinatieri shanks the field goal. He also uh, threw a pick six, which didn't help. He did, it but he, it wouldn't have been close without him. He threw he, touchdown he played passes well, and played yeah. great. Uh, but uh, Mason Fine. Take a look at Mason Fine here. Can we get a look at Mason? I think, you know, it all starts with our preparation. And uh, I think the juice on the sideline was there. Everyone was locked in and just did their job. We didn't try to do too much. Seven scores, but he went from TDs to T-Rex, having a little fun. I want to thank Graham Couch, the Lansing State Journal, and Couch in the Rube, Darian Harris, MSU linebacker. We'll see him at Ford Field. And Doug Warren. He is the boss of sports programming for the Spotlight Radio Network. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next Sunday.